Alright, and we're back here at Magical Camp, so let's see what there is to do today. So, first off, there are a lot of new events that have opened up to us due to our various interactions. Firstly, we could go up here and talk with what Natalie's up to. You can see down there, it's Talia. She has uh, some things as well, but we did get this uh, Alice's key, so uh, let's see if we can use it and uh, get access to uh, Alice's room. The key fits perfectly. Enter Alice's room? It seems a bit of, like trespassing, but uh... Ah, what the heck, right? I better call Natalie. If Alice gets mad for me entering her room, hopefully she can help de-escalate the situation. Careful now, girls. The focusing crystal has to be perfectly harmonized to copy that Magico spell. Yes, Alice. We obey. You are such good girls. Do you like being my dolls? Yes, Alice. We exist only for you. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. Once I've sublimated myself, all the girls in the camp will also be my dolls. It is going to be wonderful. What? Huh? Losing focus. Crystal becoming unstable. No! You ruined it! Sorry, Alice, but what are you doing? Why are you copying the Be Magico spell? You wouldn't understand. Please, Alice, we're your friend. Friends? Yes. You can be my friends. That's right, Alice. We can all be your friends. Macabre puppetry. My hat. I'm getting dizzy. What the? I'm back home. And I'm no longer dressed in that ridiculous magical girl outfit. Wait a second. Magical girl? What the hell am I thinking about? Hurry up, Jacob. Your mother and brother are already ready. They are? But aren't they gone? What are you mumbling about, Jacob? Hurry up! We're all waiting for you! I'm sorry, I'm going! Jacob, no! What the fuck? A cosplayer just blew a hole in my room! What's wrong, Jacob? It's me, Natalie! Oh, it's you, Natalie! Wait, no, who? My head feels so heavy! It's this place, Natalie. Alice is trying to control you. Please, come with me. It's uh, the only way to escape. Alright, this is the second possible failure state for us right now. If we leave via this entrance, we will become Alice's doll for her sinister plans. But if we continue on this way, we will continue the story. And, no, I don't really feel like being a uh, slave, so let's just leave on out. Great. Just like that, I'm cross-dressing again. Jacob, you've made it! I was afraid you would fall into Alice's tricks. Do you have any idea where we are, Natalie? I think we're inside... We're still inside Alice's room. We are? But how did it become like this? I'm not 100% sure, but she seems to be trying to brainwash us. She seems to be using the old tricks of showing you idealized version of your life to soften your mental resistance. Good thing our mindscapes become entangled, so I was capable of finding you. Thank you, Natalie, but how do you escape? Well, I found myself in bed back in my old home. I was almost falling asleep when my older sister came to the, my room to kiss me goodnight and tell me she loved me. That's when I understood. It wasn't real. She would never do that. It's a good thing you escaped, but that's... Now's not the time to talk. 
We have to find a way to wake up before we become Alice's slaves. Alright, let's, let's get on out of here. I'm gonna try and sneak past this thing. Yep, there we go. Now these are portals, and if we take this one, it'll be over here, and then we need to go down this way. Okay, then, move out of the way. I'm gonna have to fight it, aren't I? Okay. Painful memory emerged. A happy memory emerged. Well, that's disturbing. Uh, I'm just gonna guard while Natalie uses a pistol in for now. Of course, she loses balance. Gosh darn it, Natalie. Oh, Natalie, you're taking some hits. Heal yourself before you wreck yourself. Okay. Well, this is terrible. I'm gonna have to use this crystal and hope that she can guard to save herself. No. The pain! The pain! At least Jenny's faster. gonna have to heal yourself back up. And the place we want to go is down here. And then the place we really want to go is you know, that this one right here. Time to go to bed, little princess. But dad, I'm not tired yet. Now, Alice, you heard your father. Be a good girl and go to bed. Okay, Mom, but only if you tell me another story. Alice? Natalie? Do you think we're in... in Alice's memories? Yes, I think so. Ooh, backstory time! As you saw, we don't really want to fight these things. They are pretty tough. So if we can avoid fighting them, that's ideal. Just looking. Yes, got past them. Huh. This is taking longer than I was expecting. Stop resisting and become my dolls. You will be happy like that. Multiple stab wounds. Whoever did this was angry. Very angry. Detective, the girl is still alive. Quick, get the paramedics in here. Miss Nailene told me Alice was an orphan, but I didn't know it had been like this. Poor girl, no wonder she wound up so messed up. I lost the grip on their minds. No way, where did they go? Wait a minute, did they manage to enter my mind? They did! I have to find them, quickly! So far, no clues. We think it was a burglary gone wrong. I always told my brother he needed better security. With all the money he had, he should have protected himself better. How's little Alice? Heavily medicated. I'm afraid she isn't in condition to answer any questions, detective. I see. Do you have any ideas when she'll be able to talk to us? 
I understand the importance of your investigation, detective, but my niece suffered severe damage to her spine and several internal organs. For now, Mia and my team are focusing on stabilizing her condition. Poor girl. Good thing her uncle is a doctor. By the way, can she even hear us? Unlikely, detective. Very unlikely. By the way, I notice you keep her dolls in her room. I want my niece to feel at home when she wakes up. Oh, that was close. Almost had to fight him. Alright, at this point, probably a good idea to save. Alice's uncle is visibly inebriated. Happy 18th birthday, Alice. You're really starting to look like your mother. How are you feeling, by the way? Uh, hurts. Huh. I guess I'll have to raise the dose again. Your medicines are beginning to cost me a small fortune. Good thing my useless brother was loaded. I remember... You remember what? Wait, you don't mean... It was you. You did it. Damn. I always thought you had forgotten it. Well, it's true. I killed my bastard of a brother. Why? I have expensive vices, and I ended up owing money to the wrong people. I needed money fast, but that self-righteous asshole refused to help me. Good thing you survived, by the way. My brother's will said if you died before your 18th birthday, all of his money would go to charity. Of course, as your legal guardian, I had control over your trust fund. But why am I even wasting time talking to you? I should give you your birthday gift. He takes a syringe and injects Alice with something. In a few hours, you should suffer a massive heart attack. Tragic, but considering your condition, it was only a matter of time. Oh, and before I forget, happy birthday, Alice. Nailene is holding a fairy sized cell phone. Oh, that's adorable! Yes, Director, this girl has mad magical girl potential, but she's going to need some magic before. Yes, I know we're not a charity, but. With all respect, ma'am, we can save her. Why? Nailene covers her cell phone and mutters, Oh, fuck it. Begins to blow into the cell phone. Director, are you there? Sorry, I'm losing you. But did you just say yes? Sorry, I can't quite hear you, but that sounded like a yes. There, how do you feel, dearie? The pain! It's gone! Was that magic? Yes, dearie. And now, you are a magical girl. You will also be able to use it. Of course, you will need some training before... Or you could just reshape your body like that, with no formal training. Damn, this girl's really going to be powerful. There, this body feels much better. But dearie, after reshaping yourself so radically, I don't think it's going to be possible to turn you back to normal. That's okay. My old body wasn't very good anyway. I see. Well, you should start packing. We still have to go to the camp ASAP. Let me just say goodbye to my uncle first. But of course, Siri, take your time. I will. Now if you excuse me, I fear this farewell is going to involve a lot of tears. Found you. And now we have to fight Alice in her mind. That could be disastrous, but we'll see what happens. Welcome to my mind. I hope you enjoyed going through my memories, but now it's time for you to become my dolls. Be careful, Jacob. We're in her mind, so there's no way of knowing what she'll be able to do. Let's see what the cards hold for you. Alright, so importantly, if the card is actually a uh, jack, uh, you know, Joker, we have to guard, but aside from that, we're fine to keep attacking Alice. Do 
Joker. How unfortunate for you. Alright, so now we have to guard. Yeah, we definitely want to keep guarding here until she uses Annihilate. But we avoid it taking no damage because we guard it. She even told us that it was unfortunate for us, so good thing uh, we knew. Gonna keep ourselves relatively topped off here. Just playing to our safe side. How is this possible? Then we've defeated Alice. Jenny's party was victorious. They broke my Makara Papa tree. But that's impossible. Help me, friends. Huh? How did I get here? My head feels so light. Well... Alice did what? Shit, that's messed up. I'm out of here. Wait for me. No, please, come back. Don't leave me alone. Alice, why did you do this? I I didn't want to be alone again, so I made them into my dolls. You were brainwashing those girls? No, I was only making them into my dolls. Dolls? My dolls never left me, even when my parents died, and my other children stopped visiting me. They always remained but at my side. They're the only friends and family I have left. They will never leave me. Alice. Alice did what? I'm sorry, Alice, but I might have to expel you. No, please, wait, Miss Naline. Alice didn't do anything bad. She didn't, but Jenny just said that Jenny is wrong. You see, she, I, we, we, we were LARPing. What? That's right, we're just pretending that Alice was brainwashing crazy girl. <laughs> but Jenny didn't know she thought things were serious. You seem a bit old to be... <laughs> you seem a bit old to be playing make-believe, but okay, I guess. Please, Jenny, in the future, be more careful before accusing somebody. What the fuck, Natalie? I'm sorry I lied, Jacob, but I couldn't let Alice get back to her evil uncle. She probably killed her uncle. He deserved it. See? She's crazy! Come on, Jacob. She needs friends. Friends? Yes, Alice. We'll be your friends. Just don't turn us into dolls. You're just going to leave me just like the others. But I will play along for now. No way, I'm not letting this loony join us. I'm going to get Naylene. If you do, Jacob, I will make sure everyone knows who you really are. Wait, how did you know? I read your mind when I was trying to make you into my friend. Also, Nellie's been calling you by your true name this whole time. S sorry <laughs> <sighs> Welcome aboard. Alice will now join your party for training. Yes, we got a third party member. We can talk with uh, Natalie here, see what she's up to. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Julie. So you have it? Yes, Natalie. I have it right here. Thanks, Julie. Could you please keep this a secret from Jenny? Don't worry. I know how to keep my mouth shut. What are those two doing? Oh no, Julie's selling drugs to Natalie. Let's put a stop to this. Julie, what the hell are you selling to Natalie? Jenny? Oh no, please Jenny, this isn't what it looks like. I know the other girls are always bullying you Natalie, but this won't help you. You snatch it back from Natalie's hand. No, I need that. 
Natalie grabs the bag. No, you don't. This is for your own good. You both begin to pull out the bag. It doesn't take long for the bag to rip, spilling the contents everywhere. What are those? Are those magazines? Don't look, please don't look. Voluptuous Vixen? Gay Gangbang Monthly? <laughs> less Vicious Lesbians? Are these porn mags? Y yes. They help me with some urges I have sometimes. So what? Get the fuck out. Out of here, Jenny. This is none of your business. Sorry, Jenny. I didn't want you to think I'm a pervert. You know what? We'll be s Natalie just was supportive of Alice. Let's just be supportive back. Don't worry, Natalie. I know you aren't a pervert. What? You mean it? For real? It's no big deal, Natalie. Nowadays, everyone looks at porn. Natalie hugs you. I feel so relieved, Jenny. I was afraid how you would react if you found the hidden porn in our room. I would get some affection. Oh, Don't worry, I- wait, there's more? Yeah, I have a huge porn stash. I also have a confession to make. Usually in the morning when you're out in the camp, I spend most of my time looking at it and- Okay. I think that's too much information, Natalie. Every girl should keep a few secrets to herself. Okay, I'll just go back to my room and check out what you got me. Jenny, now that Natalie is gone, can I talk with you for a moment? Sure, Julie, what is it? It would be better for everyone involved, especially you, if you kept what happened here to yourself. Don't worry, I... Was that a th threat? No threat, just a warning. I don't like snitches, especially snitches that get my friends in trouble. I don't want to get Natalie in trouble. Glad we understand each other. Well, that was interesting. All right, well, let's uh, let's go out and explore the town. Well, not the town. The... this place. Thank you, Jacob. For what, Natalie? For being my friend and listening to me before I came to camp. I was so lonely. You know, there's this strong spell I was afraid to use because I didn't think the other girls would like it. But I'm sure you won't leave me if I start using it. Natalie learned the spell, Grasp of the Pit. Oh, that. Not sure how I feel about that. So let's go to the tomb of Garak. What the hell are you doing in Garak's tomb? Come back to the camp this instant. That place is dangerous. Calm down, Isabel. If things get bad, we'll just be teleported back to the camp, right? I guess you're right, but be careful. With Garak, you never know what is going to happen. Who was this Garak guy in? A Magico? Garak is a powerful Magico that once almost conquered Th Thurunmadra? Whatever. Where is that? In Asia? No, Jenny, it's another world. He almost conquered a whole world? Yes. Besides transforming people into his minions, Garak is also capable of possessing and animating the dead. He used that powerful to create a huge undead army. He was only stopped when Mom sealed him inside the body he was possessing. Anyway, enough with the history lesson. Look, if you insist on exploring the place, be careful. Garak is way above your league. Well, we'll see about that. Oh, jeez. Skeleton warriors. Natalie? Yes? Are those things illusions? I'm afraid these undead are real thing. I see. Aren't you afraid? Nah. At this point, we've already beaten the worst things. That's great. You're really becoming a true magical girl. I don't know if I should feel flattered by that, but skeletons, yeah. 
I always have trouble with bone based monsters. They have so little to burn. Try, <laughs> try melting them, then using acid, Natalie. It always works for me. And now we have Alice in our party. Speaking of which, we should have probably selected uh, new equipment for her, but oh well. Disciple of Garak. That's one of Garak's favored minions. They used to be human wizards that... It, it looks a bit like a Nazgul. What? They were from nine great kings of men that were enslaved by Sauron using the ring of... Why are you talking about movies instead of focusing on the fight? Actually, it's original, a high fantasy book trilogy that Tolkien originally wrote as a sequel to The Hobbit, but then expanded it to... Who cares? Just stop with the Lord of the Rings stuff and beat the undead sorcerer in front of you! Fine! Isabel, jeez. There we go. Wow. Straight from one into the other. That's the unfortunate part about the Tomb of Garak. It has a lot of enemies in it. Can't really avoid them easily. Alright, first off, let's check Alice's equipment. We can give her the B core, that's nice. The heart hair clip, that's always useful. And that's all we can give her right now. Maybe we can get more items in camp though. It's some kind of a ward. I don't think we can just force our way. It's too strong. But don't worry. There's always a way of breaking these kinds of wards. We just have to find how. Under us. The ward source is somewhere beneath us. Can't you feel it? Nope. No. <laughs> you two just need practice your magic more. I guess we do. Alright, moving on. Here we get a cold blue flame burns inside this lantern. This magic in this thing is similar to the wards. It must be a key to dispelling them. Spectral lantern is ours. And a nice little piece of loot here. Useful. Got fairy dust, that's always useful. Here we can use the rope. Good thing I kept this. Let's go down. What's this? Oh dear, I'm trapped. What am I going to do now? What the? Is that woman half horse? Ah! Shh! You will attract monsters screaming like that. Please, calm down. You won't hurt you. Oh, sorry, girls. I didn't see you. Don't worry about it. This place is a bit unnerving after all. But what are you doing in this monster infested tomb? Well, I was gathering herbs on the mountains when I saw this door carved in the cliff. I know I should keep away, but curiosity got the best of me. Everything was going fine until I felt something moving under my hooves, and that huge column fell. 
Seems like you stepped on a trap. Don't you know curiosity kills the cat? <laughs> Good thing we found you. You can come with us. Uh, how should I put this? I don't really have the body for rope climbing. Oh right, you're a centaur. Maybe we can tie the rope around you and hoist you out of the hole. There's no way we can lift her, Natalie. I'm not that heavy. I weigh around 900 pounds. That's not much for a centaur. Though, I suppose it's a bit too much for you girls. I guess I'm stuck in here for good. Uh, what a crappy way to go. Don't worry. I know somebody that can help you. Are you there, Isabel? You know. I'm always here, Jacob. Do you think you can help us with this situation? Let's see. I will just have to set a teleport spell and adjust it a bit to be uh, able to translocate an average horse mass. Uh, yes, it shouldn't be a problem to send her back home. Oh, thank you. I thought I was a goner. I don't have anything with me, but if you pass through the encampment, please come and visit me. I'll fix you a nice meal. My name is Kaylin, by the way. Good thing we were able to help Kaylin. Yes, magical girls, we're made to help those in need. I'm glad she's gone. The way <laughs> Jenny was oogling her breasts was getting tiresome. What? I wasn't oogling her. Actually, you kind of were. No, you too, Isabel. Sorry, just pointing out the truth. I wasn't oogling her. Sure you weren't. <sighs> well, let's take the rope with us. Might still be useful. Got a white crystal, always good. Oh, son of a... Elite Garak emerged. What the fuck? That's one of Garak's elite soldiers! It's huge! Yeah, and they are, can also use magic. But don't worry, I'm sure the magical girls won't have any problem dealing with it. Oh, and before I forget, be careful. If it seems it's concentrating, that means it's about to use a really strong attack. That said, I still like to heal up. You get a heal, you get a heal, there everybody gets a little heal. Now let's see, how do I want to go about this? Oh, fudge. Right, let's use our spectral lantern here. The blue flame jumps from the lamp to the torch on its own. Good stuff. I am really bad at avoiding stuff today. That lets us get the mana orb. Wow! A mana orb! Mana orb? They're like batteries that you can use to store magic. You can use them to power all kinds of magical devices. And since we got that, we can go to fight the Magico, as you might expect. Mana Orb. It seems to be working, but what is it? It looks like some kind of a teleporter. Let's save here. Okay, everyone seems to be roughly ready. Let's go for it. We need more, Veronica. Much more. I'm doing my best, Gara, but I can't keep training the other girls like this. Nonsense, Veronica. They still have plenty of life force. For now, but if I keep this up, there might be some permanent damage. 
Veronica, do you think your brother would hesitate in sacrificing a few insignificant girls to fulfill his ambition? No, he wouldn't. Then go gather the life force. We need to set me free, and then you will have the power you desire. Veronica, what's this talk about draining life force, and who is that weird looking staff? Natalie, how did you get in here? I think that staff is the Magico, Natalie. You mean Veronica's working with the Magico? But she's a Magico girl like us. Filthy traitor! Shut up! You don't know anything about me. Calm down, Veronica. Can't you see how convenient this is? A source of life force just came to us by itself. Garak, the Magico staff emerged, and Veronica emerged. Please, Veronica, you just drop thy staff and come with us. We don't need to fight. Great, one of those idealistic magical girls. Try killing her first, Veronica. What can you tell us about this, Magico Isabel? Isabel, are you there? My crypt's warded. You won't be able to contact your little allies from here. Damn, I guess we're on our own. We want to focus on Veronica first. Knock out her. Damn it! They're stronger than I was expecting! Don't just stand there, Karak! Help me! But of course, Veronica, consider this a small taste of the glory that is to come. Oh my, that girl just received a lot of power from that Magico. Yeah, she looks way stronger. Huh? You're the girl from the dream. Where did you come from? Oh, I'm not really here. However, that doesn't mean I can't help you. Open your mind to me, and I will teach you a trick that will help you. Well, opening ourselves up to people has led us to being, uh, changed, but let's do it. Yes, just relax and let me in. A rush of knowledge floods your mind. Suddenly, you know a new spell. However, you can also feel that something else has changed in your psyche. Jacob has learned a new spell, Lovely Barricade. Pull yourself together, Veronica. Don't you want an em your empire? I can't. They're just too strong. Pathetic. That was pathetic, Veronica. But I was outnumbered. Bah. If that's all you have, you are never going to be an empress. Just give up now and let your brother take the throne. But I've tried so hard. Are those tears? You're even more pitiful than I thought. A weakling like you couldn't ever rule a pig farm, much less an empire. I, I, stop bullying Veronica, you stupid staff. Grok, no, I need him. Why are you working with a magico, Veronica? 
He was going to help me defeat my brother. With father dead, he's going to take the throne and kill me. Your brother's going to kill you? He tried to do it before. Don't worry, Veronica. We'll protect you. Yeah, we... wait. We will? You're going to protect me? <laughs> what can a trio of losers like you do for me? We just beat you and Garak. Good point. I guess you can be my minions. At least, until I find somebody better. Yeah, now we're all friends. Wait, minions? I don't want to be a minion. So we're going back to the camp. Are you going to just stand there gawking all day? I need rest <laughs> after the beating you gave me. Sorry. What a selfish bitch. I have to agree with Alice. I can't believe we rescued her. Now, now, I'm sure that deep inside Veronica's a good girl. <laughs> so are we going or not? Come on. I don't have all day. <sighs> deep, deep inside. Veronica will now join your party for training. Be careful, she doesn't know your secret yet. So, be sure you trust her before revealing it. Alright, well, in camp, we can talk to Veronica here. Huh. <laughs> when is that girl going to move? If this keeps up, I'm gonna have to... Why are you skulking about like that, Veronica? Skulk? What are you talking about, minion? I don't skulk. Skulking is beneath an august noble woman like me. I'm merely discreetly waiting for that girl to move. So you're skulking? No, I'm waiting. Discreetly. What's the difference? It's much more elegant. About being a princess. How is it being a princess? It must be very different from being a normal person. Of course, minion. An imperial princess has responsibilities beyond the imagination of a simple commoner. It must be difficult to select which dress to wear to a ball, especially when we added makeup and jewelry to the mix. Those balls are nerve-wracking, minion. Unless you know exactly how to play the ever-shifting web of alliances between the great houses, you are bound to make some wrong enemies. Not or to make the right enemies, and consequences can be disastrous. And it's not just during official occasions, secret alliances, backdoor dealings, and all kinds of scheming are constant of the court. My education was also harder than what passed for schooling when where you came from. I had to learn about politics, military strategy, and of course to deal with assassination attempts. Assassination? There are many heirs, but only one throne. Do the math. About her family. How is it your, your family, Veronica? Beside your father and brother, you hardly speak of them. My family is complicated. Thanks to centuries of strategic weddings with other great houses, I have literally thousands of relatives. Which I've never met. Often, we aren't in good terms with one another. After all, best way to go up in the line to the throne is if the heirs in front of you are removed. As for my immediate family, last time I checked I had 38 siblings. 38 brothers and sisters? It's not that unusual, power for ver nobles often normally takes several wives and concubines, so large numbers of heirs is to be expected. However, with father effectively dead, I expect the inevitable power struggle will cause my kin's numbers to dwindle considerably. Your father's dead? He suffered extensive brain damage in a recent accident. Currently, he's only being kept alive by machines. Oh, that's so sad. When he finally dies, then things will turn vicious. Why are you making that face, minion? If you want to say something, spit it out. You seem so detached. 
We're talking about your family. Figures you wouldn't get it. Look, Jenny, the Imperial family is nothing like a normal one. While I was growing up, I had almost no contact with most of my siblings. There are f few I care about, but most are just strangers that most likely want me dead. And make no mistake, when the time comes, family or not, I will treat them like any other enemy. That's awful, Veronica. Maybe, but that's how it is, and it's futile to waste time thinking about how things could be. Okay, talk to you later, minion. Let's talk with Alice here. For the last time, I don't want anything to do with you, but, but, we're friends, and you always loved my tea, and... That's because you fucked with my mind, you crazy bitch. But when you were my doll, you were so happy. Don't you want to be happy again? You went. <laughs> you want me to go back to mindless zombie? You really are nuts. The twin-tailed girl turns her back on Alice and leaves. Wait, I can make you happy again. I please don't leave me. So sad. We could also talk with Natalie here again, but first I say we go with Alice, our newest party member, and see what's up with her. Hi, Alice. Why are you holding a teapot? My friends don't want to come to my tea party. Well, considering everything, that's not surprising. I'm going to be alone again. I, I will join you. You know, and this is against my best judgment, I could... What could you do? Are you going to convince them to return to me? I don't think anything could convince them to do that. But if you want, I could join you in the, your tea party. You could? Yes, you could! Oh, I get some Alice affection. Yeah. Alice takes your hand and leads you to her room. Well, then, now that we're all here, our tea party can start. Oh, you are right, Phoebe. I should take care of introductions first. This is Jacob. He is Alice's newest friend. Jacob, these are Phoebe, Na Nana, Nana, Nana Tea. <laughs> And Dahlia, they have been with Alice for a long time. It feels like those, the doll eyes are following me. It's creepy. Don't be like that, Jacob. They're just curious about their new friend. I will play along for now. Do you want one or two sugar cubes with your tea? Could you give me three, please? Somebody has a sweet tube. Nana tea approves. She also loves sweet stuff. I hope you like Alice's tea. Why are you talking in the third person? Alice talks like this when she's happy. Try the cinnamon cookies. They're Alice's mother's special recipe. Thanks, but I don't like cinnamon. Did it just get colder in here? Don't worry, girls. It's nothing I can't fix. Macabre puppetry. <laughs> your vision momentary blurs. You come back to your senses. You find yourself happily munching on Alice's cinnamon cookies. They are good, aren't they? Yes, they're very tasty. Wait a minute, did you just mess with my mind? Why are you making that face? You enjoyed Alice's cookies, so... Whatever Alice did wasn't bad, right? Yes, I'm enjoying eating them, but just because you forced me to. Don't you see the problem with this? Alice doesn't understand, but she will think about it, so please don't get mad. <sighs> just don't do it again. Hey Jacob, he wants to know how you ended up as a magical girl. Well... 
you spend the rest of Nini talking with Alice and her dolls. During the conversation, Alice keeps switching from first and third person, and you can almost swear that you see her dolls moving through the corner of your eyes. Once the tea party is done, you two head to the cafeteria to eat dinner. Nobody sits next to you. <laughs>